I think there are a number of things that Air does really well. Uh, because for one thing, it's always great to have offline access for your applications. You know, for things like that are applications that are doing real desktop type of work, it makes a lot of sense to have those offline. So you can take them wherever you are on a plane when there's no internet connection. But I think also it's about kind of bridging the gap between the web experience and the desktop experience. Because there are things that the browser just can't do right now. Uh, you can't associate file types. You can't directly talk directly to a file system. You can't uh, do things like the native clipboard access or pop up native windows in the browser. So for a more immersive experience for the user using web technologies, that's kind of what Air gives you. More hooks to the desktop that you can add a little more functionality to your web application, but using all the same technologies and the same general APIs that you've been using to do regular in-browser applications. I mean, obviously Flash video and video is a huge part of the Flash platform. With Air, you're actually going to be able to take a lot of that video offline so you can really create kind of a branded channel, if you will, using Adobe Media Player. And then that becomes a subscriber download just like iTunes. So you subscribe to a podcast in iTunes, now you can subscribe to a video feed in Air and you'll download it to your hard drive and then you can eventually sync it up with devices. I think that'll be the next step for Air is actually more device integration so that you can plug in a video iPod or plug in a Zune and have Air actually sync up with that media so you can have your videos from the web to the desktop to your device very, very seamlessly. Well, traditionally, desktop applications have been very, very heavy. Uh, you know, it takes a lot of computing power, processing power, and RAM to create desktop applications and actually run them. And so on the, that's one of the reasons I think for the popularity of the web is the footprint was very small for these applications. You know, it was running inside of the browser, it took up very little memory, and so you could kind of do a lot of things very quickly. Air kind of aims to bring that to the desktop quite a bit because we're using web technologies, so the footprint is going to be a lot smaller than a very heavy desktop application. And because we're leveraging the power of flash video, which is already a small footprint to begin with, you can now do HD video on the desktop in Air, and Air actually makes it so it's you can hardware accelerated in full screen mode. So we're trying to use as little of the memory power of the computer as possible, but still provide that same high definition immersive experience on Air. And I think that's I think we're succeeding in a big way with that right now.